So you've had your screening mammogram and you got an abnormal result. What does that mean and what should you do? I'm Dr. Linda Harrison from Diagnostic Imaging Centers and we're going to talk about the subject of an abnormal screening mammogram, hopefully relaying or relieving some of your anxiety with a lot of knowledge. So if you have a screening mammogram, in all likelihood your results are going to turn out to be normal. But what if your results aren't normal? What does that mean? If we look at the numbers, if we look at um, the number of women who have screening mammograms, again this is a mammogram on a woman with no symptoms, 900 out of a thousand, so about 90 percent of the exams done are going to turn out to be completely normal. But what if you're in that 10 percent and you've had an abnormal screening mammogram and they're requesting you to have additional imaging done? What does that mean? Basically it means when we're looking at a screening mammogram, we're looking for signs of breast cancer. That's our whole job. We're going to look at the whole image, both of your breasts, two views of each breast generally, and we're looking for any of the subtle signs um, that might indicate you may have an area that needs further investigation. First thing is, don't panic. And remember, an abnormal screening mammogram result does not necessarily mean you have breast cancer. In fact, the majority of the time, those extra views are going to tell us what we need to know and are going to tell you you have a normal mammogram as well. So if you have an abnormal mammogram, we may get further investigation in order to see your tissue better and to analyze that tissue a little more closely. If you had a regular conventional 2D mammogram, those extra views might include extra mammogram views. And these we use to magnify the area we're looking at, to use a little bit of different compression to separate that tissue out and to see if it truly is normal tissue or if it war warrants additional investigation. If you had a 3D mammogram, oftentimes if we see an area of nodularity or asymmetry, we may go straight to a breast ultrasound to further investigate that tissue to find out what's going on. Occasionally after a 3D mammogram, we may do additional mammographic views. Those are in particular if we find microcalcifications. That's a subtle sign where there's little calcium deposits in the breast. To investigate those further, the first thing we do is magnification views with a mammogram. So it'll mean a couple more additional mammographic views. So if you have an abnormal screening mammogram, the first thing to remember is to keep breathing and don't panic. Many times those extra views are going to say everything's normal. If we look at those 100 women out of the thousand who have additional mammograms done or additional workup done, the majority of those are going to turn out to be normal. 80 of those are going to turn out to be normal. 20 of those we may recommend having a biopsy. And of those 20, only 5 to 6 are going to turn out to have breast cancer. So in all likelihood, that abnormal screening mammogram result is going to say everything's fine and you can come back in a year. Occasionally, we may have you come in sooner than that, a short-term follow-up at 6 months. But in all likelihood, everything's going to turn out to be normal. And remember, our whole goal with a screening mammogram is to look for subtle signs of breast cancer so we can find it earliest when it's best treated. So don't let anxiety stop you. The first thing you need to do, schedule that exam, those, those additional views. Or you can come to a facility like ours at Diagnostic Imaging Centers where we actually can do those extra workup views and the breast ultrasound the same day you have your screening mammogram and leave with results in hand. This is Dr. Linda Harrison. Hope we've answered your questions about an abnormal screening mammogram.